This is Napa, California. This is where I live and work. All these bins are filled with um, pretty much every piece of art I've ever gotten sent through the mail. Because I've traded a lot of art, that's how I, I think that's how I've gotten to know people, is just send them packages of art. Uh, for a while I was sending briefcases. I'd go to the thrift store and collect briefcases like this one in there. I don't know if you can see it, but I'd, I'd fill those things with crap and drawings and I just mail the briefcases straight away. On a general scale, you can be funny, I can be, try to be funny, but it's always harder to make a broad audience laugh. But if I get to know you or I get to know like a little private thing about somebody, even if it's from afar, like something you read on their blog, I love making, like taking the smallest thing and turning it into like a very personal piece. You know, that's what I do a lot with these drawings. It's all the same. It's like if I know you, I'm always happier giving you a really personalized piece of something. I saw his work. I liked it. I thought it was hilarious. Um, we had a show with him and another artist named Sasha Eeks about two years ago where Jimmy took up the entire side of this wall with this amazing installation of all this fucking crap. Another really important thing about this show is all of the work was free. And at the end of the show, we just sent out an email and let people come and grab things off the wall. And whatever was left over, we put into a couple piles on the floor and people would just come in and just grab things. So all the art that Jimmy made was given away to the public. I, I, I feel better if I can give people what, give art away. And I think money's pretty funny too. It's sort of a driving force, so I'm gonna be giving some money away for this show as well. I got a couple ideas. Um, you know, I keep hearing something about stimulus packages and so I feel like, well, all right, here, I'll do my part. I'm waiting for a check, I still haven't seen one, so I'm gonna do my part and give some money away tomorrow night. <laughs> I've never gone to a show where the artist gives you something for coming, and he's so generous as far as, uh, thank you for coming and seeing my work. I was just standing here and he just started handing out money. <laughs> he doesn't care about it. He doesn't care about the monetary and intrinsic, intrinsic value of what he does. It's because he want, hopes that people will enjoy it, and people will really respond to it and get inspired by it and create their own thing. Oh, it's awesome. It's different from everyone else. You know, it has his own character, and. Uh, Seems very genuine. People take art too seriously, I think. It just reminds you that life doesn't always have to be about death and taxes, I guess. We're going to the San Francisco Arts Commission Gallery, which is on Van Ness. It's in this huge building with the, right across from the city hall. It's pretty exciting, I think, I don't know. <laughs> it just seems really official and a really bizarre place for me to put my artwork in. <laughs> In 1770, Del Bastille I came to the Bay Area and he built this fog factory he had found through um, ancient Tikal, where he, he actually traveled through time to ancient Tikal when he was a kid and uh, they taught him how to make fog. It's really, really spectacularly hilarious. He built a really rich, really full and complete um, narrative history that's a real labyrinth of like fact versus fiction. I think it's pretty funny, yeah, it's, it's really good. I like just like the funny photos that Forrest can pick out of stuff. Yeah, it's really good, I like it. Tonight they were like, so 
is this, you know, without, because you can read over it lightly and there's numbers and there's statistics and there's people are like, is this, a, is this a real thing? And I was like, I don't know, is it to you? <laughs> you know, it's like, he can believe. That's what he says, you know, like believe, just like let yourself, let yourself off the hook. Just for a while, just fantasize, don't worry about it, you know?